Hello viewers. So for this video, I'm going to teach you how to use the function of the timer for the PLC. So for the macro PLC, we have two timer function. First is the TON. Okay, I'm going to show you. So where do we select the timer function? So from the, I'm going to go back to the output. We select an option and then we are familiar with the out, copy to out set uh, and reset function now we are going to the timer function okay so we have uh, two function the delay on timer or ton so sometimes it is called timer on delay and we have delay of timer or tof and sometimes it is called timer of delay okay so i'm going to select the delay on timer okay and then as of now, we can use up to 8 timer relay for delay on timer, but I'm going to use the T0 okay. or the 0 address. And then this is where we uh, configure or we set our time. Okay. For We set the time for our timer function. And then notice that we have times point zero one or times point 0.1 seconds. So meaning if we put 10 seconds, it will uh, be equal to 1 second only. Okay. Now I'm going to add a push button for this one. Okay. So I'm going to, instead of 1 second, I'm going to set it to 3 seconds. Okay. So I'm going to press this button first and I'm going to hold it. Okay, so notice that when I press and hold the push button, you see the value or the val is uh, changing its value. Okay. So starting from 30 all the way to 0. Okay. But uh, when in the when it reaches zero, nothing happens, right? Okay. Because what I use as of now is just a timer re timer relay functions of the macro PLC. Okay. How do we make use of it? So this timer, uh, we are going to use it as an input. Okay. So we selected the timer on. So we're going to select this one also, TON, and then 0, 0.0. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm going to press east. So if you notice uh, the value and uh, the value from this output is equal to the value in this input. It is also changing. So when I try to hold it, and you notice when it reaches the zero value, the input is energized or the TON00 is energized. Okay. And then we're going to uh, add a light bulb. Okay, so we're going to use the Q0.0. So the first light bulb will energize okay let's try it now so notice that when I'm pressing the button but releasing it afterwards before reaching the zero nothing is nothing will happen to the light bulb but when I press and hold it okay when it reaches zero the light bulb is energized because this ton in the input side is also energized yeah, sorry i okay i'm going to change the setting so instead of three or three seconds let's just go with 1.5 seconds So what 
does the TON do? So, from the name itself, again, what's the name? The delay on timer. So, uh, if we press the button directly for the output uh, or the light bulb, once you press the button, it will be energized. But when we use the delay on timer, we press the push button, but uh, there is a delay before the output or our first bulb is energized. So, how do we set the delay? So, this is... Uh, we use the preset or we preset the value so again uh, when we use TON we are uh, delaying the time where the output will be energized okay. so we're going to use another function of the timer I'm going to use another push button. Now, I'm going to use the TOF or delay of timer. Okay. And then I'm going to select the first one, the zero. And then I'm going to use, let's say 20 seconds or 20 so it means two seconds okay and we are going to add another bulb okay so for the input we're going to select this one the tof 0, 0.0 and then another bulb I'm going to choose the Q0.2 or, or the third bulb, bulb, uh, bulb sorry. Okay. Now when I press the button, the ENT01, so I'm going to press and hold this one. So notice that uh, when I press it, it immediately turn on the light bulb or the third third light bulb okay but when i release this one notice that it is still turned on there is a delay before it shuts off or before it is turned off so this is the function of the tof or the delay of timer okay so it doesn't matter how long you are pressing the button uh, the timer function will it will be activated once you release the button and uh, the light bulb will supposedly be turned off okay so there will be a delay before the bulb will be turned off okay let's try to increase the delay instead of two seconds let's make it three so that we can observe it more Okay. So again, I'm go. I'm just going to press the button uh, for an instant, and I will be releasing it. So observe this part. Okay, I just press it, so it should be turned off. But because we are using the delay of timer, it waited three minutes. Ah, uh, three minutes, three seconds before the bulb is turned off. Okay. So this is for the functions of timer for the macro plc although depending on the plc you are using so sometimes there are uh, additional timer function that is not included in the macro plc okay i'm going to end this video